I cannot stand living a conventional lifestyle. I've never had a nine to five job. I've never worn a suit and tie. I've always worked outside. I've always loved being outside and I've always loved doing different things. We're passionate about seeing what's around the corner or what the next view is. And that is what really motivates us. The adventure guiding diploma and degree was for sure instrumental in where I am today and, and in preparing me for not only the hard skills of guiding, but the soft skills of guiding, and as well as the business aspect. I work with a company called Expedition Engineering and I'm a co-owner operator of the company and our mission statement is that we facilitate adventure trips to remote destinations across the globe. Some examples of places we go are Iceland, Greenland, Norway, Kamchatka, Indonesia, and generally sea kayak, skiing, or surf. try to educate our guests as much as possible. We try and incorporate presentations or talks or lectures about the history, the culture, the biology, the geology. What drives me to, to do these trips is the uncertainty and putting together these itineraries that have never been done before. A lot of moving parts, a lot of variables and having it run successfully and everybody on the trip, including us, having a completely new experience. A lot of it's spending a good portion of time on Google Earth. We do a bunch of research, which I love doing. I think that's a super fun part of the job. You know, is this a, a place, a location that is feasible and will provide a world-class experience? And we either say yes or no, and if it is, then we execute it, and up until now, all's good. <laughs> So in the first and second years, there's accounting courses, business plan courses, risk management courses, all geared towards setting students up for success in um, starting their own companies. And you've already been through that process, so you can take that model and, uh, and translate it to the business that you want. And, and it, it just sets you up above the rest of the competition. As an up-and-coming guide, if you want to you know, work in the Antarctic or if you want to work in Fiji or wherever you want to work, anywhere in the world, there is this network of connections through the, the instructors that, that will hook you up uh, with, with these jobs and these role models and mentors all over the world. And, and for me, that was incredibly valuable. We love both skiing and paddling and surfing. For me, surfing wins out and it's my passion more than kayaking or skiing. If you're gonna live anywhere in Canada to surf, you clue it, Tofino is a place to be. It's just an incredibly tranquil, beautiful scene that is one of the reasons why we're here for that, that beauty and that sense of belonging to a place that's so connected to nature and so rugged where you just feel so alive in, in the environment. And it's so low key that we can we can just kind of come here and, and chill out, which is which is what we need after after we're out on trip. <laughs> I think the most important mindset in this industry is to embrace challenge, to face challenge, to take it on and to have a go. If you do it on your own, you're going to you're going to be educated by a number of different people in a number of different ways whether that's right or wrong, you don't know, but you go to TRU, you got world-class instructors teaching you the correct way of doing things, the professional way of doing things the first time. 
it gave me the hard skills and some of the soft skills and some of the business skills to propel me to the career that I've, that I've developed, that I now have, right? So without TRU, I probably wouldn't have started Expedition Engineering. I probably wouldn't live in Euclid. I probably wouldn't be a ski guide.